everybody i want to congratulate you on purchasing your cones or cone whichever you got and today i just want to shoot a quick video to show you guys what the heck you're going to do with it so what you've ordered as you see is a cone mold the 52 degree angle and there's a couple ways that you can actually make these antennas but before we go into that completely i want to show you guys a finished product this is what the finished product would look like and this is 60 percent basalt 40 percent cement not concrete it's cement and you can get cement at any local hardware store this is the basalt now we got our basalt from a volcanic mine and i have a pcsm meter it allows me to test for paramagnetism and this stuff is off the charts so you know if you're needing to find some of that we can cross that bridge later today i'm going to show you guys how to make this so one of the first things you're going to want to do is procure some basalt and cement you're going to mix that up in a solution with water and don't think that it has to be a specific consistency we found that the more water you add the better so kind of a loose liquid consistency is, is a good consistency the idea is just to mix that up in a bucket um, you can get a mixer if you need to get a mixer but ideally just you know get a five gallon bucket or whatever you have laying around depending on, on what size you're going to make now one of the other things i wanted to mention was a basically a liner this is like a plastic liner and i bought tons of these and I never got the right size. I'm gonna list the actual millimeter thickness here. I believe it's 0 0.0016 millimeter is what this is. But ideally what you're gonna do, I gotta show you guys this. From that shape I just showed you, you're gonna make like a little mini cone like this. And you're gonna slide that inside here like so. And then you're gonna fill that up. You're gonna fill that up with your solution and you're gonna let that dry. Now, as far as like, how do I let that sit somewhere and dry? You, you world your oyster at this point. So you can take a little tube like this, you can set it, you can set it in like so. You can obviously just set that on the ground and then that'll dry like that. A mason jar, anything with a lid on it that you can fit the top of this in to set will work just fine. And that's it. Usually wait about two days. We're in Texas, it gets super hot here, so we still wait two days. So if you're in a cooler climate, you might wanna wait longer. Um, and that's it, guys. I mean, you basically do a 60-40 split, 60% basalt, 40% cement. You pour it in your mold. And again, you don't have to use the liner. So this is the liner. You don't have to use this liner. You can go straight in here. But what I would do if you do that is I would actually cut this mold i would cut it with like a dremel or a jigsaw and i know most of you guys aren't going to do that and i would actually suggest that you don't do that the benefit of it is you don't have to use the sleeve but the adverse is if you crack this or break this and mess this up then you got to buy another one so really what you're wanting is just that angle but that's it and i'm going to show you guys like here's the big daddy right here and then here's what it looks like finished Whew. this is what it looks like finished it's heavy <laughs> these are heavy and you can also make cylinders for these or the tower part and you can use things like pvc like i've used here you see i've cut that down the middle and so once we we, we tape the bottom we fill it with the solution and we let that dry once that's dry we pull the tape and then we just kind of pry this with like a screwdriver or something and then it slides right out it takes a little bit of work a little bit of finagling but it'll come right out and then what you can do is you can bury this into the ground about an inch and a half it really depends on how big you make them it will depend about how far you go in the ground the rule of thumb is you don't want it to just fall over so you want to get it deep enough and then you would have like a little capstone like so now that's not perfect but that doesn't matter to me it doesn't have to be perfect because when we start to understand what Phil Callahan was showing us, the key is just getting that vertical line and then that point. And as long as there's paramagnetism in here, it's going to act as an antenna for paramagnetic energy, which is all around us all the time. And we're just amplifying it. And what it's doing is it's help amplifying 
that field, that Schumann field, are these ELF fields, extreme low frequency fields. So more than just the Schumann frequency, alpha frequency, frequencies we don't know about yet. And so you're just amplifying that. So these are great to have near your computer, in your home, near your nightstand, or in your plants. I mean, ideally this is for farming, right? We're out here at the farm. So we're putting this all around our soil. I'm gonna show you guys shots, how I use these. Sometimes I make these, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just go right into the cones. But yeah, that should cover the basics. I didn't wanna to go too long on this video. But the idea again is you take your mold, you take a little plastic sleeve, and you cut it like so. You see how I've cut it round like this. This, this doesn't matter too much, but I do suggest you cut it round like this and then there even a tiny bit of an angle there too as you can see not much of one so the angle kind of goes down and that's just so that whenever you make your your point like so you get a nice tip nice tip like this and see i just taped that we just taped that and then that fits right inside that fits right inside your mold like this and then you just fill that up. And that's how actually how you configure it. As you're folding it, you're folding it inside the cone. All right, well, if you guys have any questions or comments, which I know you will, please send them to us. I'm gonna shoot some more videos explaining different applications and how to use it and whatnot. And yeah, thank you guys for your support. I really feel like this is super important to do because this this really wages war against all the extreme frequencies that are around us, the Wi-Fi, the EMF, and God knows what else they're throwing at us. And so by being able to put these in your environment, you're creating a more homeostasis, more of a homeostasis type environment. You're creating more of a balanced environment um, when you start to put these things around you in your environment. And I've seen massive results with this form of electroculture. This, this is the most ancient form of electroculture in the world. This is something that's been utilized since day one, a lot of the new stuff we're seeing with the copper and the wire, it, it can work, but I'm telling you guys, this is where it's at. And the idea is that you take the basalt in a garden situation and you put it in your soil and then you use these antennas to help amplify all that. So you've got the basalt all around in your garden and then you've got these basalt cones or these cone antennas all around in your garden. And that's just kind of amplifying all of that. Think of like the torsion field or a torsion field or the heart's electromagnetic field, right? That torus field. And that's ultimately what you're amplifying. You're just getting that pulsating and rotating and moving all around you. And we're, di we're diamagnetic, plants are diamagnetic. So they, they feel this, we feel this. And we as humans, we are our own, we have our own antenna. So by us having this field of energy and help calming us, and us being an antenna as well, then we can actually send that energy back into our garden, into our plants. We know that plants are living sentient beings now, just like anything that God's created. Maybe not rocks, but some would conjure that. But at the end of the day, we're just trying to create a, a balanced, harmonious field of energy and things grow. They don't die when they're around that and things are balanced, they're calm. So if you guys, ha again, have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, thank you guys again for purchasing your cones and we're just getting started with this So be looking out for more videos and I'm really gonna make those videos based on your questions. Thanks